these are going to be the elevators here at the historic Piddick block here in Portland, Oregon. We've got Kyle here. <laughs> Hello. And we got some mostly original Otis Autotronic elevators here. That one, I think, is an original black button. It's like it's Alright, let's go up to eight. This definitely used to be touch, and what's interesting, they actually left that COP alone, but actually removed all the buttons. Wow. They, and they fully replaced this COP, and there is an indicator there, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> and we should probably do two, because there's security in the yeah, lobby. Yeah, that would be smart. Interesting shape. Yeah. I think it's bigger in the back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's just hop out. Yeah, you can definitely tell these are on their original controllers. And then we'll take another ride on one of these, and then we'll try to get that one over there. Oh. Yes. That's weird. <laughs> this one. Oh, old Otis store home. Oh, look at that arrow. Wow. That's cool. Eight. Wow, these are fast. Whoa. <laughs> this one is a lot more fun. Yeah. Two. Yeah, notice how like the sides of the cabs are like angled. Definitely pretty unusual. Yeah, I can't say I've seen that before. All right, we'll get the freight car if we can. Otis, here's your vintage interlock. It's not exactly <laughs> See if we can get this one right here. Look at that. Oh, I think it works. Oh, yes, it does. And here it is. Carpeted walls. Oh yeah, this one's a black button. Now this is epic. Here we go. Here we are. Any leveling? Nice. So we can go all the way down to B. There's your Otis logo. As you can see, the COP's very worn out. That button's seen better days. But hey, it's original and mechanically it definitely runs well. Yeah, this one is really smooth. Very. Get a quick look at the call button here. All right, we'll go up to eight and then we'll call a different one back down. This is epic. I wish the main cars were original, had their original COPs anyways, but yeah. these are still really epic elevators. Here we are, Nate. All right. 
and we'll let this one go. I kind of want to send it down a few floors and see if the roto dial works. That's what it works on this floor. Uh, nah, it doesn't. <laughs> All right, we'll call one of these down and I'll end on the bottom floor. It's, even though it's too bad these got ERM buttons on the outside, it's, these are still pretty epic. And interesting how like the bank is like split into two, that's really cool. Well, especially the fact that you actually have two separate controllers. Yeah. Then we got this one. with and I guess we'll end on one I'm gonna try to show the panel in the lobby if we get kicked out at least we'll have gotten our yeah, video, exactly. so. yeah there's the other COP which as you can see is mostly there but the buttons and here we are Look at that panel. Cloth that they left. There. Autotronic elevators. Yeah, you can definitely tell these are pretty much fully original. Yeah, you see, there's six, but they're only like five of them are lit because I'm guessing because that one's on its own controller. So, got a digital clock in place of the old one. Are these elevators getting replaced soon, or? I believe in the next year. Oh, okay. I'm not sure when, I don't have a timetable, but currently, uh, they're getting worked on. Yeah, I see, like, two of them are, like, out of service right now, yeah. so that's why I was wondering. Yeah, we got the freight elevator, we got that one, that one, and that one belongs, basically, to the staff of the building. That one? Is that one, like, an original manual elevator? Or? I believe so. Okay. I've only been in it once, uh, I was told never go in on my own because I don't know how to operate it. Ah, uh, okay. So. Well, thank you so much for the information, man. Mm -hmm. All right, that'll be it. All right, we are here in the basement of the Piddock Block here in downtown Portland. That's a manual freighter, but sadly we can't ride it. But I figured we'd get another take of the main elevators here. This one's the freighter. And it is a completely original 50s Otis black button. Fortunately, it's still original today. Yeah, but it's gonna be gone within the next year or two. thing is epic. Mm -hmm. It's definitely seen better days though, because look at the sixth button. Yeah. It's a freighter. Yeah. Alright, you want to send it down to B? You has the working rotodile. Yeah, it didn't see this thing. Mm-hmm. It's easy to miss. Mm-hmm. I don't think we spotted it initially either. But well, I saw the call button on the far well, left. We didn't and didn't expect it to actually be well, inside. And when I looked at this building online, it did actually, I did see the black button called its station oh, on the okay. far left. Look at that COP. You want to transfer to one of the other cars on the top floor? Sure. I mean, I love these fixtures a lot. Oh, me too. I'm definitely glad we made it in here when we did. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.
All right. Oh, you're going to have to do that. I'm going to be silly and you don't have to send it. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? I was going to see the work you wrote it on. I'm going to check the other floor and see if maybe it happens to be sitting somewhere, but I doubt it. Okay. Let it, well, let us know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it does work, but the floors on it are totally off. Mm hmm. I'm glad it still works, though, other than that. Yeah. They're actually, this side and that side are actually on separate controllers, believe it or not. Yeah, I wonder where this one's at. Maybe we can find out from one of these cars. Because they all share a shaft. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's TA92. Rip off Adam Survivor. Oh, we got this one. I want to get that car if we can. Because that car accelerates a bit more dramatically. can't really see it from in the shaft. Notice how odd the shape of these cabs are. Let's go to Yeah, one. it's like the non-same shaft. Right, here we go. Ooh. Now I guess I'll end it right here. Or that's cut. Get out. <gasps> awesome. That's it for now. This is going to be the original, no we didn't, this could be the original manual freighter here at the Piddick block here in Portland. I feel like we should, if we're going to take it at all, we should only take it maybe a floor so because I feel like it's a little risky to take, but I'd rather do it. Or maybe it's eight. locked open. Oh no, cool. So we don't want to take too many rides. Though. Yeah, we do not really want to ride this, this honestly. Is the, but yeah, you know, you want to operate it? Yep. Hmm, maybe there's a switch somewhere. It's on and off. Yeah. Hmm. Give it a sec. Ow. Yeah, it's disabled. Give it one second. Sometimes you just gotta make sure that everything. We wanna slam the doors on. Try it again. Let's see, is there anything else? Okay, I think we're good. Damn. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Epic. You're gonna see it. Sure. Try I've never ridden a manual control before. Wait a sec. There we go. Yeah. This is amazing. We just go to five. No, let's go to, I think seven is where we found it. Well, when we're done. Oh, this is not self-leveling. No, it's not. They will self-level usually at the top and bottom floors, but not the intermediate. They've definitely redid the cab on this many years ago. I've never ridden a manual with control before. Really? Wow. Well, today's your lucky day. Yep. All right, level a little, a little more. A little more. Hold it up. Yeah, we'll just go back down. No, let's go up to. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's on eight. Yeah, I you know. You gotta wait for it. Yeah, there you go. This thing's a bit temperamental. They're a little finicky. All right, let, 
maybe level a little more. Okay, we're good, good. All right, there we go. Cool, there's the crank, which I've never seen before. That is not one of the most ornate cranks, but... Yeah, we found cool. it at seven anyway, so... Yeah, we want to get it right where we found it. We want to get it open. This is epic. I'm gonna get some stills of this. Anyways, that will that'll be it. Get one more ride, and I'll just show. Do some stills. Yeah. <laughs> Love that indicator. Oh, don't want it to go yet. And since I have my ultra wide camera on, I'll show you just how weird the shape of this cab is. All right, and we'll call the freight back to go back down. All right, I'm gonna get go in the back and get some stills of this bank. Yeah. It's pretty you can get the whole thing from back here. Yeah. Alright, you can. Alright. Just barely. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the roto dial, I think it does work actually. It works, but the numbers on it are wrong. Oh. <laughs> At least it moves, I guess. Did you notice? Okay, so was the manual perk there? We can check. I feel tempted to. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh wow, let me see. I think you can get a, oh yeah, you can get a really nice view of the shaft. That's cool. And there's the inner lock. Come on, please go. There we go. These were definitely modded sometime in the 50s for sure. And I'm guessing the main one's got a slap on in either the 90s or 2000s. It looks early 2000s. Oh. Uh, guessing that's the manual car. Hello? You, you going up? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Seat yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's already gone out. And here we are. All right. And there it goes. Well, that'll be it. <laughs>